And what's going on, you bastards? Welcome back to another Grand Summoners video where we are going to talk about uh, the fake crossover that is on JP uh, right now. It is underway, and the first banner was with Chloe and then Bezet. Their info is out, so we're gonna go over. So we're gonna go over them, give our thoughts, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, I will also like One Punch Man is coming to global. I was thinking about doing a video of that, but there isn't a whole lot here. I kind of wanted to wait till there's like Dream Summon stuff or something, so I might just wait to do this tomorrow. See if anything else dropped. But yeah, anyway, on the JP side, so looking at Chloe, she is a light human uh she has a six star physical five star health and then a four star magic or support if you max lb -er. all right so skill 12 second ct 1200 percent light damage physical for seven seconds reduce enemies damage resist by 20 percent 800 break damage resist but does not stack with written alluvia bfe emperor or i'm sorry BF Emperor, etc. Okay. Uh, arts, 22,000% light damage physical for 15 seconds. Increase all allies status res, except faint, by 100%. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And reduce enemies light resistance by 50%. Okay, so we got another uh, pretty strong unit to go on if you're running mono light or something. Status res does, uh, buff does not stack with Sylphie yet. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Demiurge, I, I, again, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, Light Res debuff does not stack with Luana and Hazuki. Okay. Then on her true arts, 50,000% all light damage physical for 20 seconds. Increase all allies HP recovery amount by 100% and arts by 5 per second. Okay, that true arts does seem very strong. I don't see anything in her kit so far that she heals herself but the uh, i mean we still got a little bit to go go on for 20 seconds increase the light allies arts by an additional two per second all right so definitely appealing to be on a mono light team 2200 break this unit's arts gen is type e hp recovery buff does not stack with psi palamecia etc yeah i don't think that's gonna be a problem super arts 130 thousand percent light damage physical for 25 seconds increase allies damage by 150 percent and human allies damage by a hundred percent 2800 breaks so does that mean if you have an allied human it's 250 percent if that's the case that's per pretty freaking nuts and does not stack luana and Ilya. all right so that uh, she's so I, I guess we could safely say that she is a support type unit. She is doing a lot for the team. So far, I don't see any sort uh, like a source of arts gen. We haven't gotten to her true weapon yet, which we are about to. So maybe there is a little bit of something in there. But uh, yeah, it looks like arts genning with her might be a little bit of a problem. Let's see. Abilities. Heal all allies. Okay, here it is. Heal all allies by 400 per second. Does not stack. And then when you do her true arts, you're healing by 800 per second. Okay, that's really good. Actually, that's... <laughs> that's So damage buffing, healing, and she has arts genning for the team. Uh, but like, you know, it seems like the way they're going is that on the skill uh or arts there's a little bit of arts genning going on but that does not seem to be the case here actually increase on accuracy by 30 percent increase on magic resistance by 10 percent and then spr is experience 20 percent and arts by 10 from them and 100 percent or 100 uh the eternal light soul gem all right so here's her swimsuit which is a five star physical so this is five thousand percent uh light damage 25 seconds ct for 15 seconds reduce enemies light resistance by 15 percent stackable huh guess you'd have to get the ct down enough if user is human increase own arts by 10 okay that, that helps her out uh for her art gen a little bit when equipped by summer chloe increase own arts by 100 percent. okay all right by 100 all right 
Increase own attack by 5%. All right, so her true weapon definitely does help her out a little bit for the arts um, problem. No, no generation, really, besides her true arts. But uh, I think all around, she seems like really good. Just another crazy strong support unit. All right, now looking at Bazette, she is a water human. Six star physical slot, five star defense, and a four star heal with a four, uh, four star physical. So I don't think there's really any reason to max LB her. I don't know if uh, eh, niche. Am I? I don't know. Four star physicals don't seem too crazy to me most of the time. All right, twelve second CT, uh, for her skill, twenty seven hundred percent water damage, increase own arts by fifty. Yep, there it is. Uh, for eight seconds, increase own paralysis resistance and freeze resistance by a hundred percent, five hundred break. Arts thirty thousand percent water damage physical for twenty seconds. Increase all ally stats by thirty percent and physical resist by twenty percent, nine hundred break. All right, I like where this is going. Uh, you know, just kind of like uh, what is it the the Vox effect or something? Is this the same thing Vox does with the, the little, like, pseudo heal and increasing stats and all that stuff? And then physical resist by 20%. That's nice. I mean, it seems to be, like, a lot of, like, physical resistance buffers that have come out lately. So you, you just do a whole squad of it and a lot of physical damage dealing bosses. Uh, the, they won't really be able to do too much, it seems. Uh, so we are on the true arts right now. 80,000% water damage, physical. Uh, when true arts is used, reduce own remaining defense equip CT by half. For 20 seconds, reduce enemy's water resistance by 80%. Okay, that's pretty strong. I mean, if you want to run mono water, it's definitely a good unit to do that. Uh, defense equipment. So she does have a five-star defense slot. Yeah, that could definitely be clutch. So super arts, 160,000% water damage physical. Increase own super arts damage by 250% and accuracy by 100% for the duration of the super arts. If super arts is used while the enemy is using arts, increase own super arts damage by 500%. And accuracy by 200% for the duration of Super Arts instead. 2100 break. If Super Arts is used... Let me reread that. If Super Arts is used while enemy is using Arts, increase the Super Arts damage by 500%. I don't know. Don't most enemies, when they're doing their Arts, doesn't that give them iframes and stuff like that? So... Is that particularly too useful? I know, like, not all, obviously, but... I don't know. There's some bosses, when they're going to art themselves, it's... You know, they, they just can't be touched. I don't know. Uh, abilities. Reduce own seal resist by 100%. They just, they just like to trinkle in these, like, random resistances. Like, paralysis, freeze, then you got seal. When own HP is 70% or higher... Ignore 100% of enemies' defense. Okay, that's pretty good. Does not stack with abilities. Same name. Increase arts by 50 at the start of the quest. Increase own evasion by 20%. Then with the SBR, 20% uh, unit XP and arts by 10. And then the frostbite, soul gems. And now we have her true weapon, which is a swimsuit. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought, because uh, this was up here. I'm just like, wait a minute. Did I uh, cycle through, I guess? Uh, so, 5-star physical. 50-second CT, 1,200% water damage physical. If the user is water for 10 seconds, reduce enemy's damage resist by 20%. If user is water, and when own HP is 80% above, reduce enemy's damage resistance by 35% instead. Okay. Uh, when equipped by Summer Bazette, increase own damage by 50% and skill CT by 30%. Does not stack. When own, uh, increase own defense by 5%. Okay. Okay, so that skill CT on her would be pretty strong because that'll give her more arts and then these, well, resistances, which would, uh, you know, be pretty niche. 
overall just seems like another very strong freaking super awoken unit man like what can i say they're all they see this first batch uh seems very strong all right then we got uh these part one eclipse equips we got chloe's swimsuit uh five thousand percent light damage physical for 12 seconds increase own physical damage by 40 percent if user is light increase own physical damage by 80 percent instead when used for the first time increase own arts by 70 that seems really strong uh then we have chloe's swim onesie 25 seconds ct heal all allies by 2000 percent and cures all allies poison uh then we have bezette swimsuit 60 second ct 5000 percent water damage physical for 10 seconds reduce enemies water resistance by 40 percent when used for the first time reduce enemies water resistance by 60 percent instead uh 40 second heal all uh, this is her apron bezette's apron uh increase all allies hp by 1500 this is a defense equip that's uh increasing hp huh i like that uh, for 20 seconds, increase all allies' physical resistance by 40%. Ooh, I do like that. That is pretty, like a defense equip that heals too. It's kind of interesting. I don't think a lot of weapons kind of like, kind of do like multiple things like that, right? Like a defense equip that heals or like, well, I mean, I actually, well, there's, because you have like the support items, which are like arts genning or damage or break, but like, you know, physical equips can give you arts and stuff like that i don't know i i don't really recall i'm not the best with equips like honestly but this uh not many defense equips heal to my knowledge all right and now we have excuse me i fragarach fragarach i don't anyway 10,000% water damage 50 seconds ct uh for 10 seconds reduce enemies physical resistance by 30 if used with own HP is above 90%, reduce enemies' physical resistance by 50% instead. the hell is this? I don't want to know what this is, actually. I'm going to say this is a wand or something, you know. And then we have this uh, memory bracelet. 60 second CT, 5,000% water damage uh, magic. Increase own arts by 30. For 15 seconds, increase own magic damage by 40%. This one seems a little out of place here. Because all the water types are like physical and then you have you know light but then we have water magic i don't know but anyway bastards hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about chloe and bezette the equips whatnot uh the fate crossover as a whole and i will see you guys in the next one take care but first hi there if you liked what you saw <sighs> Thank you.